There's always potential for danger, for danger, for danger. Uh, we got rain coming in. We're really concerned about lightning. Yeah, it was a, it was a very tough slide. Zero gravity. Under the car. This has not been fun. Vehicle failure. Vehicle failure. Kai Michaels at the Black Rock Desert. Okay, come on, no more. And we're here to uh, make sure that these guys launch a rocket safely. And don't let it fall hard. We want to open up our window from 11 to 11:30. 11 All systems are ready for operation start. It's made me sick. It's made me old. It's changed. He's a very determined person. He doesn't like defeat, and I hope his dream comes true. Comes true. Comes true. The Jerry, my friend, that saw the dream, and he had the dream. I don't know how we came together, but we came together. That uh, nose cone comes and hits into the sand. We're gonna lose it because it's coming at 80 miles an hour. We just made Black Rock the Kitty Hawk of the 21st century. The first amateur to put a rocket into space. The GoPro cameras, actually all three of them, did shut down on temperature. And uh, the cameras were all mounted to the outer skin of the rocket, which does get really hot from the aerodynamic heating uh, during the, the boost portion of flight. In fact, some of those areas can get upwards of, you know, three or four hundred degrees. And the photographs from space are the first that's ever been captured from an amateur rocket that's actually reached space. And on top of that, um, you could actually see the moon in, in those um, off, you know, off on the horizon, which makes those photographs even more spectacular. Um, that white object that goes fluttering by um, could have been an alien for all we know. It, uh, I have no idea what it is. It might have been something that was in the, the booster when it separated. And yeah, we saw that too. It, uh, it's a curious object. We weren't too far from where we had actually tracked. It was on the other side of those mountains in that, uh, in that, on that uh, desert floor. Um, and we were probably on um, the helicopter. We were probably still maybe, maybe three or four miles from where it was. But, you know, unless you know where it's at um, or have a good idea, it's really hard to 
see it. When we first got down on the ground in the area where the where the rocket was, we couldn't see it. We could not find it, and uh, we actually found these drag marks. We followed that drag mark uh, about three quarters of a mile, and then and then uh, came right up to. Uh, where the payload was. In the course of the month that it was sitting out there, the winds had picked up that parachute and drug that payload section uh, at least three quarters of a mile to its final resting spot where we found it. And I was talking to Kai Michelson a couple of nights ago and we were just reminiscing about this flight and all the things that we experienced and uh, both of us felt like the, you know, 10 years is just way too long to wait for another one. So hopefully it won't be too many more years and we'll be out there again to, to beat our record again. 